Okay, third grade, we're gonna be adding the tree on top of our moon today. We are gonna keep our moon white. We are not gonna create an orange moon um, like in my example. So, folder holder, make sure you open it up. People have names on the paper, so check the name. Return the folder to my box, because these will be wet. Get your moon. Make sure if your moon is more on the, um, if you did it on the top half, that it's on the top half. We don't want it on the bottom. Keep it vertical and make sure it's on your paint mat. Supply manager, when I send you, you're gonna get your tray. You have black paint and your brushes. Table captain, you're going to pass out these brushes. Um, we have a little bit of a thinner, different brush. Um, so we want more of a point on our, um, create the tree. So we're gonna create the tree trunk first. It's a perspective like we are sitting under the tree looking up. So we're actually gonna start down in the corner and work our way across to the, uh, the opposite corner. Okay, a little paint. And I've added a little bit of water to your black paint to make it a little bit easier to paint with. So if this is my corner, let me get my paper. This is my corner. I'm not starting at the corner. I'm gonna come over and kind of draw a curved line across the moon. Then the corner, I'm coming up over the corner. And this, the same line's going wider at the bottom, thinner in the middle, and then wider at the top. You can see wider, thinner, wider. Because at the top where it's wider, we're then gonna take it and create a V. And a V, creating three different branches. And we gotta paint this in. So yes, it's gonna take you a little bit of time. Once you have your main part of your tree painted in, now is gonna be adding the um, tree limbs coming off the top part. So it's something called the Y. So what you do is you kinda of wanna push a little bit more and then as you come to the end, you wanna pull up your branch to give it that point. So again, push, pull up. Push, pull up. And as you pull up, you'll start to see that little skinny point. Push, pull up. It takes some practice. It is not as easy as it looks. I've been doing this a little bit longer. So just take your time and try to create those eerie looking branches. Now don't, you want, don't wanna go down to the bottom and start creating these branches. You wanna stay towards the top. enough branches um, coming out across make sure you wipe off your brush onto your mat again this is not a doodle mat I shouldn't be doodling um, with my black paint on my paint mat it's just to wipe off the extra paint flip it over get your paintbrush in your house please lay it down on your tray because if it's standing up it will tip I will call the supply manager to walk this back to the counter everybody else you're going to listen either to pick up your paint mat and walk it back or just pick up your tree, keeping it vertical for the drying rack.